Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on UFT automation. In this video, we will learn virtual objects. Uh, quick little uh, concepts on virtual objects. Number one, uh, you manually create these objects. Number two, these objects are not stored in the object repository. That's one thing. Another thing, the third thing is that you know they are actually located on the file system at this location. So this is your installation folder for UFT. So inside that there's a folder called dat and then vivo template. That's where you know, that's the location uh, for the virtual objects. So uh, before I jump into and uh, you know you know start creating all these virtual objects let me uh, demonstrate for you what happens when UFT does not recognize objects. I mean you will you know you may run into such situations where you know you would see it as a regular button or a link or a text box but UFT for whatever reason you know it's not able to recognize it so that's when you know these virtual objects come real handy so here our you know what I'm going to do I'm going to do a basic recording and the goal is to you know draw a red line draw a green line and draw a blue line that's our goal okay use on our you know MS Paint now, as we already know that, you know, the drawing requires analog recording. So we'll mix analog recording into this whole thing and, you know, understand virtual objects as well. So let me demonstrate uh, this by a regular recording. So by default, uh, it's a, you know, black line to begin with. I'm going to click on red. There's nothing happening and no recording. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I haven't started the recording yet. Let me clear this out. Hit the record button. So it's a regular recording. Uh, click down black, click down red, click down green, click down the blue color. So I have four lines. I'm going to stop it. As you already noticed, as I was drawing, the EFT was not recording anything. However, it did record some clicks. And as you can, as you can see, you know, it did not really recognize the object. It's saying that dot click and, it's, you know, it's not, um, uh, it's using coordinates primarily, right? It's not recognizing the object. So within that object, it's clicking at certain, you know, coordinate location. So that's not that's what happens when UFT does not recognize objects. So let me comment these lines. Done. So now what I'll do is I'll uh, you know create virtual objects for you know or three colors uh, red, green, and blue, and then I'll mix analog into it and then we will we will I'll demonstrate for you how we can you know uh, actually draw and pick colors properly so let me first go ahead and create virtual objects uh, it's uh, two under tools you have virtual objects and I'll pick a uh, virtual object manager so right now I don't have any uh, virtual objects in the system I'll click new and that should take me to this screen click next and I want to treat it like a button because I'm clicking on it do next and I need to mark the object here I'm gonna mark the red one so I'm holding down the left button of the mouse and dragging it and release it so it marked that area next use parent and I need to give a name uh, button underscore red so it's going into that collection I'll do one more next object as button mark this time green
and underscore green and I'll send it to the same collection so when it's in the same collection they all reside there next object as a button mark and I'll mark the blue color now So now uh, the Vivo Collection Zero has all three buttons uh, recorded, virtual objects, uh, for blue, green, and red. Let me click OK. Now let me do the recording. Uh, clear this out. OK. Now what I'll do is I'll not use analog recording. I will, uh, you know, start clicking those colors and, you know, I'll start drawing lines. So what I'll do is I'll do record. And now I'm going to click the red color, draw a line. And for when I draw a line, there's no recording there. You can see it's not generating any script. I'll click the green color. And look, there is a line 20 there. I'll click the blue color, line 21 there, and draw the line. And stop it. So now... You know, as you can see, there's a button underscore red underscore two. It's it's giving me underscore two because I had, you know, a, an object, a virtual object with that name before. That's why it, it said underscore two now. So what it did was, it, you know, it tracked, you know, it, it when I clicked on the color, it recognized it. And it used virtual button. You will see virtual button or virtual something virtual on this button. It did a click, but it did not track the uh, what do you say the 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 drawing or the lines on the MS Paint because you know the normal <coughs> recording will not recognize it. So this time now what we will do is now that we can click those colors, we'll go back and what we'll do is we just need to insert analog recording. You know, after each, you know, after picking each color. So, after picking the red, I want to do analog recording, record, switch to analog. And once you do that, you should get this prompt and then use this button to, you know, kind of target this window. Start analog record. What I'll do is, I'll, you know, I will, you know, draw a line. I know it's black in color, but uh, it's going to be a little bit different. Then what I'll do is I will draw another line. I'll draw another line. Oh, this will not work, but um, no, no, this will not work actually. Let me stop it. Because all three lines will be treated as one tracking. So it, tra it tracks all three lines as one. So when you execute this, when this line gets executed, it will actually draw all three lines. So you'll see three lines of red. Okay. We'll do another, and this time what we'll do is we'll put vertical lines on the left-hand side and then vertical lines on the right-hand side, okay? So <clears throat> I'm going to line 24. So after picking the green color, and even though it's black, you know, you'll see what I mean by that. You'll notice the color change when you actually run the whole script. So recording again, and pick analog, pick this window, start again when I draw this it's going to be black line okay. and let me go ahead and stop it so this would be track 9 probably track 9 and now I'll do another analog recording after the blue button record analog this window start okay stop now let's anal quickly analyze the script and then we will run it so you know I know that it was all black lines when we were recording but the effect is going to be a little bit different because according to the script we are picking or selecting or I mean to say clicking the red color and we are executing this track 8 
then green color track 9 which would be vertical on the left and the blue color and then track 10 which would be the vertical lines on the right so let's go ahead and run it so it's, it's a combination of using virtual uh, objects and the analog recording pick the green on the left hand side and then it will pick the blue color okay so recording is done so as you have seen now the colors are are you know we we kind of created three virtual objects one for red one for green and one for blue and then we used analog recording to draw the lines. So we kind of combined both because we needed, given the situation, we needed that. But you know, maybe if you're using a web-based application or a Windows-based application, you may not have to deal with analog recording. You just have to create virtual objects and use it. Okay. So that's it about uh, virtual objects. And you know, you can definitely create virtual objects within your web-based or you know, you know, Windows-based applications as well. Well. Thank you very much for watching this video. I will see you in the next.